you've got where you've got that beautiful chrysoprase, but it's actually still in the host rock. So it's like boulder opal, uh, where you've got the, the precious opal, and then it's in the, the original matrix of the host rock. So if you were lucky enough to, to get in on this material, you have this material, this will go back with anything. I mean, it's just a great look. The, the earrings or the ring also are mm -hmm. just great standalone Oh yeah, uh, the pieces. earrings are really wearable. Uh, just over an inch in length, you can see how great those look on K. And I love these earthy shades, the greens and the browns together. They'll just go with everything in your wardrobe. Uh, beautiful, lightweight, solid sterling silver, 925 sterling silver. You got the bead, you got the French French wire backs. Those are all little rondelles or those donut shaped beads. And then you have that elongated bead at the bottom. And then the ring, I I'm crazy I about this ring. ring. And this I really am so shows crazy now, about this ring. Okay, and they're all gonna be uniquely different. Okay, this is a cool look right here, but every one of them will be individually a one of a kind silver. piece. There will be no two of these that are completely identical. And that's mm -hmm. what's so cool about the material. Also, the Belmont deposit has, the that Belmont mine's frame. been closed for over 12 years, maybe even longer than that. And this material is actually the last load that came out. And we were part of that of that project. Oh, and that that's is. why I have this material. This is this is from my that. private stock, my oh. independent private um, stock of this particular uh, uh, Chris Appraise material. And uh, not small. So if you yeah. really want a ring that gets you noticed, that's a conversation piece. It's over an inch in length, but yet super smooth. The sir, sterling silver is so beautifully highly polished. It slips on like a dream. And and Kate, I would I would you'd probably agree with me. It probably feels really comfortable that ring doesn't like flip or spin. That's another thing you do very well. You balance a big gemstone with a lot of sterling silver. Well, the, the, it's the way that they're manufactured. They're actually made from sterling silver sheet material by our silversmiths. So you have the tensile strength, but you don't have to, with cast products, you have to make them so wide because it, the, for the mold, for the silver to mm -hmm. flow in the mold, you have to really make them wide. With using sheet material, which is custom made and having silversmiths, that's the key. When you're using sheet material, you have to have silver Smiths to work it. You can't, if you cast something or if you stamp something, you necessarily don't need silversmiths. All you need is people that can finish something. When you're working something like this and you're working from sheet material, you absolutely have to have silversmiths. You have to have artists that can actually um, do it. But so it cool. makes it We're running out of time, not so. thick so that it's very comfortable. You can put your it fingers is together. so comfortable. Well said. All right. Uh, hate to rush you, but we've got to move on quickly. That is final call on the Chris Praise collection. Love those green and brown together. Together. But if I had to pick one item for this next show to really, gosh, go a little uh, loop to do over, it would be the Angel Peak Turquoise Nugget 18 inch necklace. It is going to be our showstopper. It's $79.90. This is so unusual. I love the shape of the stones. I love how simple and elegant it is. And also the affordability here is really super easy. It looks like Sleeping Beauty. It's that flawless, eternal rock. Robin's egg blue. It's breathtaking. It's handcrafted. And that is all sourced from the soaring Chilean mountains. That's brand new today, by the way. So lots of items you've never seen. And you certainly have never seen these five in five. Five products, five minutes. Let's do it. All right, here we go. A five and five to kick off our 10 a.m. hour together. Mine finds with Jay King underway. We're going to give you a clearance price of $54.90 on the Sonorian Blue Turquoise Ring. It's chic, it's sexy. This is our lowest price we've ever offered. Jay, your thoughts? Okay, on that well, you know, this is five thing. and five. It's always difficult. <laughs> Every one of these, okay, I, I have to tell you on five and fives why they're so popular. Everybody realizes these are giveaway prices. And it's not that the product's bad, it's the pro not the product you didn't sell. It's just that we're down to just a limited. very few. They're very limited that we can't really air them and give them a full presentation. So they come up with these outrageous, crazy deals <laughs> that, you know, like as the manufacturer, you can't build them. I couldn't build this and sell this it's for this inlaid price. It's 
turquoise. Right, well, it's very, very special. This is Sonoran Blue. If you look at it, it's some of the highest grade turquoise that I currently have uh, in my inventory. And it, this has watermark. This is what all the really high-end designers uh, in out west, okay. this is what they look for. Number two in our five in five. How about some more tiger's eye? We had the bracelet, we had some earrings earlier. This is a five in five clearance price on a gorgeous tiger's eye necklace. Now you get the necklace and you also get the pendant, which is removable from that beaded and strand and all set in solid sterling silver. Well, okay, but just look at the art Look at on the this. chatoyancy it, of that yeah, tiger's eye. If you were able to get the bracelet earlier, flash. you might want to think about it. If you think what you paid for the bracelet, if you think what you paid for the earrings, okay, and what you're paying for this, this is literally below cost. It really is a piece of wearable art. Look at the quality of the of, of the tiger's eye in this. It all comes from Namibia. It's got that beautiful chatoyancy. So you see that cat's eye effect? Mm -hmm. Just amazing. And the pendant is removable. It's that golden glow. It almost looks like it's winking at you. It's powerful. It's fierce. Just it's like It's winking the saying, come buy me. I'm a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Jay King is winking at you right now. You can't see it, but he's winking like, okay, don't miss out on that one. These are our five and five. That's the lowest price we've ever offered. That's 50% off. It's really like two looks in one. You've got the pendant. You've got that gorgeous chain of tiger's eye beads. Number three, we are going to light up your life with the six strand citrine bead eight and a quarter inch necklace. It does have the extender. One, two, three, four, five, six strands right. of no, this beautiful this, gorgeous, they, almost they, like a champagne they, Yeah, they've got style. this dressaded, but if you take yeah, it out, just shake it out. Yeah, undo that for yeah, you. Yeah, shake it out. Okay. Show you all this is the most strands. massive amount of natural citrine you're ever gonna have the privilege of buying it, I guarantee you. Just a, tur just a citrine rough mm -hmm. will cost more. The rough material, uncut, will cost more than what they're selling the whole wow. finished thing for. Just to, I won't now, even tell you layers. what the finding, if you see how they do the custom bars on this. Mm -hmm. And we've done this for you, and these are all just custom cut, what I call freeform, they're uh, nugget beads. Citrine is just like amethyst, it's just like peridot. It's a semi-precious colored quartz. That is just ridiculous, and Kate's, there Ooh, you go, so Kate. so pretty. That's, that's, uh, you, know, you can just side this, but that's what I, okay, that's how, that's yeah. how this should be worn, that's, right? You got a waterfall of citrine. That's why Kate's citrine. the model. Waterfall <laughs> just, of citrine. Just do what Kate's doing. That's 50% off. All right, I've got a silver cuff bracelet for you, and for, oh, we're gonna do the watch. Okay, let's do the watch. Here we go. Silver cuff bracelet watch. <laughs> Number four out of our five and five, a beautiful timepiece with a genuine gemstone dial. That's gonna be a beautiful okay. blue lapis. This is lapis. And this is all beautifully done in a polished silver tone. Sleek curves, uh, by the way, it tells time. It's easy on, easy off. It has a quartz movement, solid stainless steel back. What else do we need to know, Jay? Okay, well, sterling silver, again, made from sil by silversmiths. This is uh, made from sheet silver. This is my design. Uh, it pops in the back. What I'm, I, these are custom made um, watches. In fact, they have mine finds on them. They have a uh, Japanese movement. There's just a few of these. Um, I've, uh, just, I've done these in three or four different gemstone materials. I just have a few of these. This isn't something, now I will repeat on this. I'm gonna make more of these watches, but we'll never do the lapis again. We'll never do the turquoise again. Off too. So you're getting an incredible, and this is really a timepiece that actually tells time. Yeah. You can, there's nothing worse <laughs> than having a, a custom watch Watch, and then my wife always has a custom watch. She says, what time is it? I said, you have a watch. She says, but I can't really tell. Is it two or three? <laughs> so You can you, tell the time. They are and designed. we are running yes. out of time on the five. Number five and five Petrified and five. Wood. A rare find. Petrified wood. What a cool vibe this is. This is from your private collection, right? Right. This comes out of Phil Johnson's uh, uh, private uh, a collection of petrified wood. Here again, unfortunately, the necklaces, the stretch bracelet, uh, everything that went back to this sold out. I've just got a few of the earrings. Uh, you know, just what I, just what the findings cost alone on this. Mm -hmm. So if you, and this is ideal if you, well, if, you just want, if you just want something that's kind of like standalone, you could wear that. But if you've got petrified wood, it'll go back to it in an instant. Yeah, and you can wear these day in and day out, kind of your go-to like summer cool. Very comfortable boho again. Chic. Nice Earrings. Yeah, nice long. I mean, solid Hands sterling cut. silver. Rare finds. That's our five and five. Good luck. We'll tell you when all of those sell out. Jay King's five and five always do. Again, welcome into the top of the hour. Right. Uh, speaking of sellouts, uh, that one's gone. Congratulations. Uh, number two is also gone. The tiger's eye. Congratulations. And number three, the citrine has also been 
spoken for. Thank you so much. We still have several more clearance items. We've got some brand new turquoise to share with you. So uh, every hour with Jay King is one not to be missed. Okay, let's do this. Let's do a little lapis and turquoise com color combination. Uh, this is like a divine inspiration. I, I saw this and it just about took my breath away, Jay. All the years that I've been presenting jewelry, I love lapis and turquoise together. And it's really hard to find something that's done so beautifully. We have the necklace, we have the earrings, and we have, well, I guess we're calling it the necklace pendant together for $189.90. And then the earrings are here for $89.90. But this is a very big presentation of both the lapis and the turquoise. Right, and what makes this so unique and uh, so special, this is uh, part of our gallery collection and um, designed to, okay, a facet of the lapis, look at the lapis, look at, number one, look at the grade of the lapis. This turquoise though is over the top. This is um, Kingman uh, from the Mineral Park deposits. It's, it's the last, or some of the last, of the blue basin material that I have. Um, this turquoise, um, to be honest with you, I, I bought this, oh, six, seven years ago. Blue Basin doesn't even exist anymore. If I flew you in my plane and flew you over the, uh, the Mineral Park deposit, there, we, if, back in the day, if I would have flown you over um, the Mineral Park deposit in my plane, when they were actually mining Blue Basin, you would have seen this beautiful, like little turquoise miniature lake. In fact, you've seen B-roll of it, you know, from the air actually, uh, of in a, a beautiful turquoise color. And that's where that particular uh, material was mined. Now that's all completely gone, okay? That, um, that, that whole area has been mined, it's been backfilled, and now they're uh, starting um, further up on the mountain. Um, th so this is Blue Basin. Th this is probably one of the most expensive turquoises that I have in my collection. Really? The, uh, the cost of the material right now, we, we just, we're, we, when we do use it, we just can only do cabochons and things like that, but it's, it's just such a hard, clear, hard blue, robin's egg blue, material, so probably some of the best mm -hmm. material that ever came out of that particular mine. It just is phenomenal. Yeah, it's so, a nice big size too. That's uh, yeah. a, a 10 by 12 center stone here. The lapis, I mean, this is a gorgeous 16 millimeter faceted round. And then look at the sterling silver work here. Look how beautiful, you almost have like a little scalloped edge, a little texture detail. It's all bezel set on that beautiful pennant drop and that's all beautifully polished on the back. Uh, and everything is hinged here too. So that floats. Uh, this has a nice, wide, generous bale. So that slides up and down and around the beads. You can take it off and you could wear just the beads on their own. I mean, just the beads on their own for genuine lapis and turquoise. And then, of course, with the feature presentation. Add on the earrings. Uh, those are also really fun. Same size center stone in the earrings that you saw in the necklace with the little touch of turquoise. Let's go to the phones. Let's say hi to Linda in Illinois. Linda, you're live with Sarah and Jay King. Hi. Hi. Linda, welcome hi. to the show. I just got the Tiger's Eye necklace and the Sonoran blue ring that you're wearing. Cool. And I have four jewelry boxes full of <laughs> taking jewelry. It's all I buy. The only jewelry I buy is his jewelry. I get so many compliments mm. on it. You just don't know. It, it, it makes me feel so good to wear it. Even if I'm just, even around the house when I get dressed, just to put on a piece, it just makes me feel better. Well, that is so cool. And I, I like that you got those two things because both of those were incredible deals. So obviously mm -hmm. you're a person- Savvy who, shopper. Yeah, who knows a savvy, yeah, a savvy shopper <laughs> that knows deals when they see them. I like to get things that are a little bit different colors that if I'm wearing yellow, I've got maybe a yellow piece of jewelry. Or, well, I like the turquoise, I love turquoise. But I mean, yeah, every, every piece that I have, I, I enjoy wearing it. I, like I said, it just makes me feel, it gives me a pick-me-up, makes me feel special. But one, one question I do have is, will you ever show um, uh, earrings that are clipped? Well, you know, um, uh, I have in Good the course. Good question, Linda. Thank you. Yeah, but in the course of 23 years, we've done clip-ons at different times. We get that as requests um, uh, a lot, and mm -hmm. I do have it. And, you know, we, we are going to do clip-ons, but we have done them in the past. But um, uh, a lot of people, you know, we, we do get requests for them. So um, uh, I haven't done them in a while, but I'll keep that in mind. We're also working on a conversion finding so that oh, uh, they can be multifunctional. Okay. 
That'd be oh, great. Yeah, I'm one of those dinosaurs that doesn't have pierced ears. Oh, <laughs> I don't either. So that's the that's problem. That's probably the only thing you don't have in those jewelry boxes, Linda. <laughs> but you know, but I'll work Thank on you, that. Linda. And we're also working on a finding also that we can use mm -hmm. that's multifunctional. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, Linda. Great. Yeah, I'm glad you Take love it. Care. Thank you so oh, much just, for calling. Yeah, it means so much to hear from so many of you that have collected his jewelry over the years. And that's the one thing I hear from so many of your fans and then reading those reviews is that uh, the pieces that you bought five years ago, ten years ago, they never go out of style. Uh, they still love the colors. They still love the beauty of the stones. Is there any special care that you would uh, recommend for Well, you know, um, it your depends on what, yeah, where you live. Um, but you know, the, the thing is, is when, when you get your when you get your designs, they come in a, in a poly bag and they come, uh, they have anti-tarnish strips in there. And if you really just want to keep everything, and I know it's kind of a, I know it's, you know, it's easier said than done, but you know, there's a polishing cloth or you can buy a polishing cloth. What I would do, um, anytime you, you take it off, uh, just give it a quick wipe and then put it back in the poly bag. The, the biggest thing with either stone, with any stone or with any metal, especially silver, even gold, is that um, it oxidizes. But the reason it oxidizes is because all the creams, all the things that we, we have on our hands and yeah. we handle our jewelry. So if you just wipe it off, it'll stay beautiful forever. And what's really cool, because we're seeing generations now where our jewelry is being handed down. I know several mm -hmm. people where mothers have handed it down to yeah. their daughters, grand, uh, you know, their grand, uh, grandmothers have handed down to their grandchildren. And when we build something, we always try to build it uh, like something that's gonna last for, for a long, long, long time and it's gonna be able to be handed down to, uh, to generation after generation and generation is still gonna fit in. So you're not just buying something like costume jewelry right. and then eventually you're gonna is, toss it away. This is a real deal. This is something that mm -hmm. you're really gonna, gonna uh, be able to gemstones. hand down to, to further generations. Okay, final call on the lapis and turquoise jewelry again. Uh, that was brilliant, that was brand new. We've never done that color combination before. Uh, something we may not have time for, but I wanna make it available, because I know, Jay, uh, this is one of your favorites of the show, a yellow opal and varicite beaded necklace. This is another rare find. Well, you know, um, I picked this out when we were in the green room. And why they call so it green room, I have no idea, because it's not green, it's white. So next time I come, I'm painting that thing green, okay? <laughs> I'm tired I'm tired of misrepresenting the green room. You know, um, they actually don't know where that word you know, somebody told me it's because of history. Uh, somebody told me last night, the reason is, is because people, um, because they would turn green just before the, they the came on. They would get nervous. Nervous, right. Um, okay, let's That's get back. That's not you, Jay. But I, will, I will tell you this, okay, this yellow opal, if you want the deal of the century, don't let this thing slip by. And mm -hmm. this is why I'm telling you, this is the last of the last of the yellow opal that you'll probably ever see. This is totally and those mined are really out. big beads. I, I got this, yeah, I got this two years. I got the uh, one barrel of this rough in Tucson. Off. And this is the last of the last of the remaining of these. There's not a lot of them. This is half of, of, of what it would even cost to manufacture it. And then you got that beautiful um, uh, Verisite stations in that. That all comes from Utah. A great combination of natural yellow and natural green. But the yellow opal is so, so rare. Beautiful. I mean, it's almost like marbles. Each and every one of those stones looks so beautiful. By the way, $40 off. We only have 200 of those to go around. So we'll just say last call there. Mine finds with Jay King. Uh, thanks so much if you're just tuning in. He's the stone hound. He's the master designer. He travels the world. He flies his planes and enters the jungle and brings back the best of the best that the gemstone world has to offer. He's been with us here at HSN for over 20 years. 23 in October. 23 in October. It's pretty amazing. So congratulations. Yeah, yeah, that's why you have so many uh, when loyal you consider, fans out there. Yeah, when you consider my children were in grade school. <laughs> <laughs> And now they're, my children are having children. So, you, it, you know, it's pretty, pretty, uh, it, it's uh, how time flies when you're having fun. And we do it's have short, fun at we, what we do. We, we do love what we do. We were just saying that before the show, like how lucky are we? We get to take you shopping every day and bring you such beautiful finds. By the way, I have never seen anything like this in all the years I've been presenting jewelry to you on television. Gosh, over 14 now. This is, this is something I have never seen before, Jay. This is a fabulous black agate and turquoise necklace with actual geometric cubes 
We'll talk about a fancy cut of black <laughs> agate. This is not fake, this is not faux, this is not glass or plastic. This is genuine gemstones, all handcrafted, all hand beaded, hand faceted, sterling silver class with the adjustable closure. Uh, what a killer buy today. And it's gonna be, I, I can't even, I'm not even gonna mention the price because it just seems like it doesn't even begin to speak to the quality and the incredible lapidary work I, that was You know, I actually, here. I designed this and this is my cubism period. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> no, I can not tell you. But I'll tell you a funny story, you know, because every everything I designed this and so anyway, do you know that um He's been waiting okay, to say no, no, that all uh, out. But I gotta tell you, okay, see this is how it all starts. <laughs> so um we cut so you you see all these round beads we do? This is how they start out. They actually start out as cubes, right? Saws don't cut round spheres, right? They don't, they, they do have different things, I guess, that, you know, that, you know, like where they cut the big okay. spherical balls and everything sure. like that. But everything we do, anything, any round bead you've ever seen from me, this is how it started. Any rectangular bead, any, any, any type of, um, like, a, um, everything but rondelles start as a cube. So what you do is you, you cut your material, you cut it into cubes, you cut it into different size of cubes. You take a diamond dremel, you mm -hmm. drill the center of that, you you put it on uh, like yeah you put it on a uh, piano wire and then you roll it right you roll it on a flat lap and that's how we shape it that's how everything is shaped so um, I was sitting there and we're, we had all these cubes, right? And, and I was looking at them just before we were starting to cut them into beads. And so I thought, cool. this is ridiculous. This is a cool look like it is. So <laughs> I'm going to design, I'm going to design something, in, you know, um, that's, you know, th that incorporates these cubes. Why, you know, Isn't that cool? you know, and, and we'll just, we'll do, the, the, yeah, we'll do these cubes. So here's the thing. Can we go to the phones, Jay? Yeah, we can, we can go second? to the phones, but okay. my, my artist told me if you ever do this again, we'll never talk to you again. Because <laughs> see how they're drilled? They ha you have to yes. drill from pointy side to pointy side. Uh -huh. Do you know how hard it is to do that? It's a cool look. But, right, but to get the cubes to hang right. To get them to hang right is a nightmare. And these all hang right, but I gotta tell you, there's a whole pile of broken cubes. <laughs> <laughs> so this, and basically this will not be coming no, back. No, no, this isn't is coming back. what he's back trying to say. Because they'll tar and feather me. <laughs> <laughs> Patricia, thank you so much for waiting. Hi, welcome. Patricia's calling from California. Say hi to Jay King. Hi, Jay. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Patricia. How you doing? Good morning. It's lovely to talk to you. I got your emerald necklace yesterday. I'm so excited oh. about it. You know what? I was just talking about that necklace. Patricia, the let show. me tell you something. Um, when you get that, I sincerely mean this. Okay, I'm going to be on, I think, the 27th, 28th. If you get that, I'd love uh -huh. to hear from you because I got to tell you, when you open that box, that, it was so frustrating last night because I could not really show you the color of that. When you get that emerald and you open that box, you, it's going to blow your mind. It is, it is a beautiful emerald necklace, just absolutely mm -hmm. beautiful. It looked very dark last night. We couldn't seem to actually show it in the right light, okay. but man, I'm so excited. I, and that's the only oh. time in my career that have actually worked with Emerald the very first time. I know. I, I watched your show last night, and it how, shows how much I truly trust you and love your stuff so much that you couldn't show it. But I got the pink sapphire bracelet, and it sparkles. It, and I have tons of your stretch bracelets because I have arthritis and I love wearing them. And, um, and the pink one is the most sparkly, and, and emerald's going to be like that, too, because it's one of the big four, and it's got that sparkle factor. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, you know, when you fast it, it was so frustrating last night because that is such a cool look, and that material is so fabulous, mm -hmm. but so um, but it just wasn't earring? showing well in the light. So the I'm earring? excited that know, you I got that. I know, I was driving you crazy. No, I, I got to <laughs> tell you, I'm so, I'm so excited that you bought that. That is so incredible. I'd love to, I sincerely mean that. I'd love to hear from you, okay? When you get it home. Okay. And when I'm back on. I'll be back on the mm -hmm. 27th and 28th uh, Memorial Day I will weekend. Put that on my calendar. Yeah. Give me a call, please. I would love to hear I from you. I love your shows. I love your stories. I love oh. the little antidotes you tell, like <laughs> one about <laughs> Tiffany's story, the whole popularization of turquoise and stuff. It's just you're just so fun to watch. Oh, well, Have thank a good you. life and keep thank doing you. what you do so well. Okay, Pat. Thank you Thanks so much, to Patricia, you take for care. calling in. Yeah. Uh, I think. Pleasure. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your week. Thanks, Patricia. I think, Jared, we might be able to show the emerald necklace that Patricia picked up. If you can find it, we can at least uh, tease everyone and show them what they missed. It's that item number I gave you before the show. Yeah, you know, and yeah. the, the, that oh, okay. emerald is the probably most incredible 
deal you'll ever get. And it's the very first time in 42 years that I've got to work with Emerald. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is so darling. Let me just give you some quick updates here. We're talking about the black agate and turquoise 20 inch necklace. Uh, there's also some matching earrings. I want to make sure I introduce the earrings to you if you're on the phones for the necklace. Just so you know, it's 586484. So you can see them on Kate. Uh, so you can uh, not miss out on putting together a really dynamite combination. So there you go. I mean, and it's wonderful to be able to do the earrings with the necklace, because let me tell you, uh, if you get just one and expect to find the other one anytime soon, uh, this is sort of a, a once in a lifetime chance for this really cool geometric design. And I think you're gonna get so many compliments on a piece like this. Also, it's one of our most fan favorite color choices when it comes to jewelry when it comes to fashion. We love wearing black and sometimes we want our black to pop. Turquoise is a wonderful accent color with black. So here are the earrings and oh there's also a cuff as well. So here are the earrings $49.90. I'm wearing the cuff for $164.90. Everything from J. King is on five flexible payments for you today. So we love being able to share those uh, monthly interest free installments for you. That way you can get in on all of your favorites. Put the collection together. The earrings. Uh, uh, Jay also outdid himself on the earrings. There is a small cube, there's a medium cube, and there's like uh, the Mac Daddy cube there at the bottom. It's going to be over two and a half inches in length. Uh, also done in solid sterling silver with the French wire backs. Uh, those are so cool, Jay. And, you know, the, and we've got these on sale, which is, is really tro totally incredible. Like I said, when I design these, this will be the only time you're ever going to get to see these, right? This is it. When these are gone, they're gone. Mm -hmm. It's not because I don't love it, because I personally love it. I love the design. <laughs> I love the look, basically, because I designed it, right? But I love it anyway. I love the look. I like how they lay. They lay perfectly. Yeah, those are great. It's it really kind something on. kind of different. And, and, you know, it's, and again, uh, very mm -hmm. geometric. I love the cuff bracelet which again, these are all custom made one at a time uh, from scratch by hand by our silversmiths and our lapidaris that put these together. But you know, I'm just being, you know, I think the, the funny thing is the stories that you can tell about the reality of making things, right? <laughs> I mean, it's the, the reality of, of actually working with the rough materials, the reality of it. And a lot of people don't, um, I don't know. So they don't it, find black agate in cubes. You don't find, well, you right? cube, okay, you've seen cubes, you just don't know you've seen cubes. Because all the That's black cool. agate uh, necklaces, round beads <laughs> you ever bought from me all started off yeah. as those cubes, okay? Yeah, really so, cool. But it's so funny because when I designed this, I did, designed it on paper, but I was looking at the cubes, so I'm just laying out the cubes on the on the paper, and then I design it for, for our cutters, uh, cutters the way I want to do it. I never thought about how hard it's going to be to drill from point to point, right? right. And keep that centered. Number yeah. one, how do you so start? They hang nice. Yeah, how do you start the drill, right? How do you get it started on there? So you actually have to take uh, the saw and just kind of like grind it a little bit, notch it, so that you can actually get the drill started. And then you have to, Pretty when you're incredible. drilling it, you have to keep it centered up so that it goes mm -hmm. to the other side exactly at the so right the place. So the hang beautifully. So, but the thing is, is they get off a little bit. So we had a whole pile of black cubes <laughs> that were either broken or they um, they were they weren't we they, wouldn't, go, they wouldn't lay straight. So you're really looking at things that you'll never. I guarantee you will never manufacture these again. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you they won't even you, they won't let Jay if, make if it. You, even if, if you, you like this to. look, you really might want to consider getting it. Okay, there's the earrings and the cuff as well as the necklace. Don't miss out. We've got lots more. Don't forget about that amber right after this. <laughs> Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Computers, printers, cameras, fitness equipment, and even jewelry can be covered with a plan that offers repair or replacement should a failure occur. And portable electronics have accidental damage from handling, which covers unintentional mishaps like everyday drops, spills, and cracked screens. It's easy to add when you are checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. Discover the newest way to create a style all your own. The HSN Style Edit, a curated look at the season's best, most original finds for every part of your life. We decode the trends, share tips and how-tos, and give you the inspiration you need to style it your way. It's the joy of the hunt and the thrill of the find. Your unique style is here. Discover it now, exclusively at hsn.com. 
Since 2011, HSN Cares and Habitat for Humanity have been helping women realize their dream of home ownership. HSN Cares believes in giving back. You're building lives. HSN actually cares. For the entire month of May, HSN Cares will donate $1 from every at-home item sold during at-home shows. None of this could have happened without your donations. Thank you for helping me make my dream a reality. HSN Cares is the heart of everything we do. Who knew a little piece of plastic could be so much fun? Now, when you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. Now, when you use your HSN card, you get extra flex all day, every day on all jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases. Plus, no interest VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. People know they can be guaranteed that when they tune in, they're going to see something new and different. I had this urge to travel from the time I was little. I enjoyed so much just the different cultures and the way people are and how they, they live. Being able to combine all the stuff I love, like flying, traveling, observing other cultures, finding cool materials, and then being able to make that all come together is really, really wonderful. No, those to bring were bring you gemstones. Okay, that was in Morocco. Okay, that was in Morocco, and we were going to an amethyst mine in Morocco, and those were wild camels that were just uh, cruising across a road. I mean, in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the desert. How cool is that? <laughs> and we were driving, and they surrounded us. You know, it, but they were wild. I mean, that, that was cool. really, really cool, man. Jay King really does travel to the ends of the earth and back again and faces every known <laughs> threat to man, including <laughs> including those incredible snakes. Uh, he hates snakes, but he loves turquoise. This is the Angel mm -hmm. Peak Turquoise Nugget 18-inch necklace. It is our showstopper today. And boy, isn't it. It has the most beautiful, elegant shade of blue-green turquoise. Here today at our summer price, $79.90. We have five flexible paint on all J. King's designs today. This is the last day of the visit. We're showing you everything you didn't get a chance to see over the weekend. But if you want a go-to summer necklace, I don't think anything says summer like turquoise, Jay. Well, this is uh, totally functional, and that's why we did it, okay? This is this is something that, that you're going to go, it's going to be a go-to piece mm -hmm. in your, Great. in your, um, jewelry box, your armoire, um, you know, wh wherever you keep your jewelry. This isn't something that's just gonna sit there all the time. If you don't have a really just simple turquoise graduated um, uh, turquoise nugget mm -hmm. necklace, nice this beads. is something you really truly might wanna think about because this is a very special turquoise. This comes from, um, from Chile. Uh, it's what they call Angel Peak. And here oh, again, uh, I had the privilege of naming this because where they mine this is over 12,000 feet, right? And I was joking one day because um, uh, the cloud layers were there. And I said, you know, uh, I can just see that we're going to look out and, and next thing I'm going to see is an angel. Because <laughs> we were that high. We were that high. And it, it was really cool because the, there were the cloud, there was an inversion la layer and the clouds were just below where, where uh, they actually sure, have, yeah, this, 12, have this high. mine. But at 12,000 feet, you know, and if you don't think about it, uh, you know, down there, um, our, our summers, they're winter. So they're mm -hmm. going to just now start, um, they're, you know, they're going to start now just being able to mine again. The, the mines have been closed because it's under anywhere from 8 to 12 feet snow uh, during the winter so they, they can't uh, go in and do it mm -hmm. but this is a really it's unique uh, turquoise this comes from Chile here's the here's the rough just so you know this is what it looked like when it comes out of the ground this is a of course a bigger piece but can you I'm not really mm -hmm. good at this you know you're doing you great Jay. okay okay but what, you, 20 okay, years on television look at this <laughs> if you turn it over all I did Okay, and this is what I always like to show people. All I did was cut that nugget. That was a big nugget. Mm -hmm. Cut it in half and polish one side of it. Polish it. If you see these, okay, and that's what 
That's what makes this so unique and so different. I left it as natural as I could. These are all just the natural nuggets. So, you know, in this mine, what we do is um, we are very selective on what we buy. We so only buy the, the bluers. And this is like a sky yeah, blue. this is a great shot, guys. Thank uh, sky you. Sky blue, light blue, a kind of like a minty blue color. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's not, it's not like you just go and say, you know, buy as much of the nuggets as you want type thing, right? You have to, we hand select every Thing. But uh, as soon as we get back and we get we get this to a place where we can work it, the first thing we do is we run it through a screening process where you have different sizes of screen, and that's why we can capture the different size nuggets that shake out. And then those are all taken, and we actually sort those all by not only size but by color. And so, wow, it's, so hand selected, right? It's hand selected. Every it's, it's not like. There are, you know, tens of thousands of these. Okay, it's not like that. You could make ten thousand of these necklaces. Mm -hmm. uh, you can make, you can make, you know, a, a few, but you can only make what the material that you have. And uh, this is uh, just such a cool color, and it's so consistent. This price that they're giving you is outrageous. Do you know how that hard I worked just to be able to sell this under a hundred dollars? And I was trying to hit a price point so that you can have something that's extremely affordable. And then they even and went wearable. down. And this is brand new. 18 and they, inches. They're, and it's, they're, they're offering it at even a lower price than, but just even the, the original price, I can't tell you what a fantastic deal. And the only reason that we could do that is because we have the connections and the way right, that we, we right that we source. buy mine direct we go right to the source you're not you're not have to pay any middlemen you're not you know you're not you're every time that you have to go through somebody right they make money so every mm -hmm. time it goes through another step hands, right? where somebody you know and they have to make money right they have to make money otherwise they can't you know they can't survive right that's how they stay in business so what we try to do is we try to try to go right to source we try to count out all the middlemen so we can give you not only the most fabulous product but we can give you the, the absolute best price of anything like That's that that beautiful. you can actually buy. And By this way, is all natural nuggets. Mm -hmm. They're all natural. Yeah, all we did was grind them. That. Yeah, and that's one, something I wanted to point out to you. I mean, that this is this is real. This is not fake. This is not faux. This is not glass. It's not plastic. It's not reconstituted, which actually means sometimes turquoise is almost a powder, and they sort of patch it back together. They press it, they yeah. They press it, and they yeah. say, oh, you it's can turquoise. Always, well, it is turquoise, but you can always tell. It, right. Yeah, it's, it's got not, a lot of little white spots. It's not a whole stone. You're getting yeah. the whole nugget. You're getting exactly as Mother Nature intended. Uh, let's go to the phones, Jay. Let's say hi to Lily in Texas. Lily, you're live with Sarah. Sarah and Jay King, hi, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Jay just mentioned about his jewelry is so sturdy that it can be passed on to future generations. Mm. Well, I, I have that in mind. So I print off the page off the internet of everything I buy. It was just been 26 pieces this time. And I uh, put a name on the page so there won't be a family feud when I'm dead and gone. <laughs> You, you, you know, I, I, I tell him, I says, if you want to say, well, I wanted some lapis, well, I'll trade you this turquoise, turquoise <laughs> so you can have lapis, and, and fine if they want to trade. And I don't pay any attention to what I paid for it. It's who I think will wear it. You know, it, Lily, that is so That's a lovely story. admirable. That's and fantastic. I have to tell you, we probably have a lot of, in common family-wise because we, we're kind of based from the same thing. You know, we're, uh, my, my grandfather, everything, you know, the, their uh, big um, uh, ranching oil, so they're, you know, he was born in Comanche, Texas. Um, but, you know, it's really funny that you say that because that's how we do for our family because I hate people arguing on things. But, you know, the, it really means something. You hand it down. But I always do that. I leave things to people that I think are going to use them. And uh, the same thing, but with the jewelry, you know, pe I think it's so cool that you're doing that, you're handing it down. Mm -hmm. And we make these uh, of the quality that you can hand them down. And I think it's oh, so, so cool uh, to preserve it. I was it. one of the houses that got flooded in Texas, oh. and I have no costume jewelry left. I only have Jay. Oh. And I was planning, plan B was to take it to the attic if it got to my uh, knees. So are you down by Houston and Corpus in that area? <laughs> yes, in Houston. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, I uh, lucked out. I, I only got 12 inches. <laughs> okay. Well, I got to tell you, somebody who's Thank expected you, uh, has gone through flooding. Trust me, I, I feel your, I feel, yeah. feel what you went through. 
Um, anyway, well, I just hey, want what, to make sure that my uh, daughter-in-laws and and, and uh, granddaughters don't have a family feud over it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's going to be there in black and white. Lily, thank you what, so what much for your call. call. We've what a great call. Go, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I can just see her with her little list of Der J. King no, items. But, you know, but people don't think about that. It's and a great I, idea. You know, that, that is really great. And I love what she said is actually handing it down, not not for the cost value, mm -hmm. but actually uh, somebody who's gonna appreciate it and actually right. wear it and use it. And maybe you don't have a turquoise necklace that's your go-to turquoise necklace. I think that's what uh, thrills me most about this piece. It doesn't matter if it's in the middle of the summer, it doesn't matter if it's the middle of winter, it doesn't matter if it's a t-shirt and jeans, you're just wearing something casual, or if you're going to go ahead and dress up a little black dress, this piece really speaks volumes about who you are, about what you take pride in, and if you love wearing genuine gemstones, if you love wearing something it, with a it, real you, sterling silver clasp, it's something that I think you're gonna love and treasure for if, years If you look at this come. though, is the color consistency of the material, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's what that is so pretty, hard and to get green. is actually, it comes from the same mine, the same deposit, gotcha. so you're actually getting this marvelous natural color consistency, and that is so important. Uh, because that right. is another thing that is really, really tough to do is to get them where they all kind of blend together, right? Because they're, mm -hmm. they're, even though they're out of the same deposit, the same mine, um, to get something that flows that evenly is really, really, really oh, The size important. of the beads are just perfect. If you're someone who wants a, an option from wearing all the big chunky jewelry, this is your go-to. It would be a lovely gift idea for anybody who has a December birthday. It is a December birthstone, so I'm going to slip that on. For, I, I might have to keep that one, Jay. That, that's a keeper for sure. Sure, that's our showstopper. Get $10 off today, any <laughs> single me. purchase of $10 or more with our HSN credit card. So if you apply today and buy today, we'll take $10 off your very first purchase. So another uh, great reason to shop and save. We can always make it easy to get in on that HSN credit card. Always get the VIP treatment. Now, everything that J. King designs and brings you is on our website at hsn.com. Just type in J. King. You will see necklaces and rings and pendants and bracelets and earrings galore. You can search for your favorite type of stone. You can look for that emerald necklace that Patricia mentioned. You can look for the amber pieces we had last hour that were so popular. You can treat yourself to this next item, which is our turquoise and blue topaz ring. Custom made, handcrafted, a beautiful, this is, gorgeous blue this topaz. This is Campito's Kemp turquoise. And blue topaz. Uh, blue topaz and the Campitos turquoise together. I'm wearing this. I've been wearing this on my right hand the entire hour in case you were wondering mm -hmm. uh, when would I ever get to this ring? Well, here's the moment you've been waiting for. And I love everything about it, including that center stone, which is the blue topaz, almost looks like it's floating. It's sort of uh, the same sort of feeling that we get from those tension designs, those tension settings that are so big in uh, wedding and engagement bands. And here again, uh, one of the things I love about this is the color combination. This is uh, the Swiss blue topaz, and then you've got that beautiful, what they call blue ice, mm -hmm. blue ice, a Campitos turquoise. Um, and the Campitos turquoise, um, you know, uh, it's closed now. The government uh, came in and shut the mine down for safety reasons. They had a, um, they had a communal uh, mining kind of operation, uh, and if you fly over the Campitos mine when it was active, it, um, you would see, it look, it's not really a mountain, it's more of a molehill kind of thing, <laughs> uh, but when you fly over it and you'd see all these little tents all over it, right? And those were all individual wow. campsites, and every one of those wow. campsites is actually had a shaft or a mine where they were actually mining. Mm -hmm. That's eventually that was its demise. They had a um, they had a, a torrential flooding, and so all those you know people were mining over each other and under each other and around mm -hmm. each other and chasing the veins. It was all hard rock mining, and it, none of it was shored up. And so when that all got wet, it got uh, very unstable. They had some cave ins so they said you know this isn't safe. So they just shut the whole area down. That increased the value of the turquoise. I will tell you this, not all the turquoise that came out of the Campitos um, uh, deposit was actually this color. This, was, this came out of two different shafts, and this was 
called Campitos Blue Ice. Um, and, and the reason they call it Blue Ice is it's just such a clear um, material. Oh, wow. uh, a lot of this material actually right now on the market um, is being sold as Sleeping Beauty. It's not... I was going to say, it's that Robin's but, blue but, collar. But it's being sold as Sleeping Beauty. Right. I, I've seen people that I know mm -hmm. it's Campitos. I know that, that where they got the material from. Um, we did get the last two I loads guess. that I know of. I don't know of anybody else that got loads. We got the last two loads before they shut it down. And this is some of that material that we're working off of. What and made the let's talk about the design quickly, because I know uh, I don't know how much time we have, but there is a, a center stone here, and it, it actually looks like it's floating, right? But well, it's soldered to both sides, so it's beautifully right. yeah, this is what you know, they, they did the open design, very contemporary, right? Yeah, very contemporary very sleek, look. Very modern. Very, you know, kind of like high-end couture. Uh, type uh, type design exclusive um, to Mind Finds. Mm -hmm. um, this is our design, our particular design done by the, uh, one of our artists, our in-house artists uh, that's very very talented. How do they do the inlay of the of the turquoise? Because it's it's seamless next well, to the sterling silver. Well, there again, the the silver work is an art, but the inlay, the lapidary art, is it's is as just as much talent involved. Um, in this case, as, as anything, um, just being able to set the stone. So in this case, what we do, the silversmith makes the sterling silver setting. They uh, finish it, polish it, um, but not completely done. Then they give it to the lapidaris. The lapidaris, they individually take the, the, the rough material, the Campitos mm -hmm. rough, and the Swiss blow uh, topaz, they'll uh, center that. They bezel set that, not prong set. You can see where they've crimped the bezels. The inlay work is done. They actually take and cut little slivers, and then they inlay each of that, um, and then they grind it. They take a pair of twe tweezers and a Dremel, wow. and they actually grind it, grind it, grind it until they fix it. It's all set, and then after everything sets up and it's all set Isn't in there, beautiful? then they go back and then they buff it flat. And then they do the final polish, which is actually actually a process that's not just one time, but they use five different polishing techniques to finally get the final product because on this. Because it's so seamless. If you see that, you know what's really hard, and most people don't think about this, is the inlay um, as it it's, curves around yeah, the finger. Yeah, I was going to say it's on a curve. It's on the curve, so it's actually where they have to cut the bottom of it of the inlay piece to actually, they, they actually sculpt mm -hmm. each piece of turquoise to fit in the inlay perfectly because you don't want, the, and here's the final, the Man, final thing they do, you take, you take your, your fingernail and you run it completely around the ring, right? So you wanna make sure that there's no open seams or nothing that snags. Yeah, it's super so there's, smooth there's on a the lot, inside. There's a lot of, um, of work goes, that goes into it, a lot of skill. All the way around the back. Yeah, do you too. see it's even on the shank all the way around? Yeah, the shank. You see the, the shank, everything's inlaid. The tapers whole thing is inlaid. in the back, so it's super comfortable, super wearable, and then it divides. And they have this beautiful sort of Y shape. Again, the negative space, the open spaces that keep it airy and beautiful and lightweight. And they've got that brilliant blue topaz. It's a wonderful contrast to have an opaque turquoise with the clarity and the brilliance and the sparkle of a blue topaz. That's not a small blue topaz, by the way. That's a carrot. That's a full carat of genuine blue topaz, all set, that's about a six millimeter size, all set for under $100, and genuine solid sterling silver, so beautifully made, a fabulous opportunity for you. It's already a customer pick, so you're in good hands. Uh, follow the crowd on that one. They know what they like from Jaking, and uh, they always give you great rave reviews on our website so you can read and hear what everyone has to say. So, uh, a wonderful ring, and coming up next, we've got something fabulous uh, we, I've, I've been dying to do this presentation with you because I have to say, in all my years, I've never seen anything like it. So this was just kind of mind blowing. This is a graduated teal appetite bead necklace. Today, it's only $79.95. It's our biggest markdown. It's the lowest price we've ever offered. It's way over 50% off. And I think, from what I understand, this has to be like the largest appetite necklace you've ever created, if, if not <laughs> the, uh, this part of the world, because appetites are very small and they're usually not seen anywhere near this size or uh, in this you know, number. Usually appetite crystals are very, very extremely small. This mm -hmm. comes out of Madagascar. Um, as far as Phenomenal. I know, we have an exclusive on this rough. Uh, you know, I don't have any more of the rough. We used it all in this project, um, but it comes from Madagascar. Um, we did, it comes from the same miners that brought us the blue appetite of uh, the year before. 
Um, that's the actual mine uh, where this is actually mined out of. And it's not like, um, they, they have different stopes or different layers in different colors. This is, the, this is like a, a, a teal green um, mm -hmm. uh, color. You, you will see hints of blues in it, oh but gosh, predominantly it's a yeah. teal green. I will tell you right now. Look at the size of those beads. Th this is Umongo and this is below cost, okay? You couldn't even, it, it takes over four pounds, almost five pounds of natural rough material of the teal uh, appetite material to even cut this. It's this is humongous. This is so it's humongous. This is the, of all the deals that we've had for this whole event, when I saw this price, I just couldn't believe it. I don't, I, I can't express to you what a crazy, crazy deal this is. So heavy. By the way, the ovals on this, you notice there's two ovals that sort of are parallel to each look, other look right at here. The look at beads. the size of the beads. Look at the size of these, 30 Facity. by 13 millimeters. And then you've got the Rondell beads, eight by 12 millimeters. Those are faceted, all high polished. And then up here you have the graduated Rondell beads that go up to about an eight and a half millimeter in size. Solid sterling silver clasp goes anywhere from an 18 inch plus an additional nearly three inches there. A lot of sterling silver, a lot of gemstones. The weight, the presence, the look on the neckline is gonna be off the charts. A phenomenal buy. Let's quickly say hi to Lucy in Kansas, who's been shopping with us this morning. Lucy, you're live with Sarah. Say hi to Jay. Well, hi, Jay. How you doing, Lucy? I'm doing great. Good. What'd you find today, Lucy? I bought the ring that you're wearing. The topaz and turquoise? Yes. Oh, the cool. Blue topaz. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, very contemporary. What a what a wonderful look. Well, the design of it caught my eye. It's so different. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it's very unique, and it's one of our, uh, you know, here again, all of our designs are done in-house. We, You know, so it, it's actually one of our younger designers that did this. I, I really love it. I love the lines of it. I just, I just love the way that it came out. Well, this is my first piece. Oh, well... Welcome in. Uh, hopefully, when you get it, you'll see the quality we do and come back. Well, I plan to if it's as good as it looks. <laughs> it, I got to tell you, uh, I, I will guarantee so you pleased, how it looks here. Pleased. When you open the box, it will even look better, is, is <laughs> usually what everybody tells me. So, well, welcome aboard. We, we love to find new people. Well, thank you. Welcome to the family, Lucy. Great to chat with you. You have a wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye. Okay, take, take care. Bye-bye. All right, first-time first, first time customer. So That's nice always to hear great. From That's so what we'd like to you. hear. Uh, we want to give you one last look at the graduated teal appetite necklace. Talk about appetite, because it's a gemstone that a lot of our viewers are, are not familiar with. Okay, well, you know, appetite is, is a semi-precious gemstone, right? Normally when you see appetite, where do you see it? You see it in gold, you see it in very, very small, mm -hmm. or like necklaces, usually they're small, like small well, crystals or small chips. Stones. Right, yeah. Now, there, you know, in, in the reason is, is number one, the size of the material, the rough material, number two, is cost prohibitive to do things. It's very, very expensive. I just happened to uh, hook up with some fabulous uh, miners that I, they have the same sense of humor I have, trust me, uh, maybe a little even wilder than I am. Uh, they're from Madagascar. Madagascar, uh, so everybody knows, if, uh, in Africa, if you look on the east coast mm -hmm. of southeastern Africa, that big island there, that's Madagascar. That's I will guarantee you one thing, they don't have any penguins, okay? There's no penguins in Madagascar. <laughs> it's but tropical. It's really funny that, that it made, that that's what made, you know, Madagascar the name kind of famous, you know, but um, is a cartoon. Um, but Madagascar is very interesting, <laughs> the, the whole... The, the whole island is, is just, it's, it goes from high desert to tropical to, I mean, there's just so many different climates and ecosystems uh, in Madagascar. So have you ever seen appetite like this anywhere else well, from any no, other and source? Th that's what I'm saying. This, this is the only time I've ever seen this color of appetite. I've never seen crystals this big. Mm -hmm. they, they, okay, in Madagascar, it's a wealth of gemstones, uh, precious metals, diamonds, everything. They're finding everything in Madagascar. Yeah. It's virtually undeveloped. This is uh, one, of the, one of the appetites that is truly was a mind find for us. I don't know anybody else that has this, but this is literally the deal of the century. You'll never get a better value than this in something this size in this it quality material. It is going very, very quickly. And, and I think you're going to be absolutely thrilled when you get this home. I'm going to keep that on. It just feels so good. Uh, 
having all that incredible, that's such a rare and unusual stone. We're running out of time, and so we'll run along. And uh, we've got to give you a little pink for all of our, our mothers out there that we're celebrating Mother's Day over the weekend. This is the Rotocrosi necklace. This has also the turquoise beads. It's handcrafted from two very rare materials in Jay's inventory. Uh, and you don't have a lot of rhodochrosite, right? No, you know, you're not gonna have a lot of rhodochrosite. And that's the thing, this is just one of those, um, those buys that uh, you know, just happened to be at the right place at the right time. Um, uh, the, the person that we got this rhodochrosite, here, here again, the, the, there's the only active mine that I know of, the only one I've ever been to is this, the one that, that this material comes from. Um, 10 years or so ago, they, uh, it's not that they're still not producing, they are, but they won't let you take it out of the country in the rough form. It has to be in a finished product. Well, I don't have cutting shops in, in Argentina, I don't, okay? I have no way, I have no way to process rough there. And I, I just can't, you know, I just can't start an operation just so I can have a finished product. So, um, and it's not just me, it's a lot of people. And so people just, you know, they quit buying the rough. I mean, they're, there's, they, you know, they, so it really kind of killed their market. Um, you don't really see rhodochrosite anymore. It's very, very limited. It's very rare. Uh, other than the fact that they do have it there and they still produce it's it. They just don't sort of have semi, the market. Semi-opaque. Right. And Rosy the thing, pink stone. Yeah, rhodochrosite, it's one of the, the natural, it's not, It's kind of like a, it, it's not really even a, a pink, it's, it's kind of like, it's got, a, it's got its own very unique mm -hmm. color range. Uh, we got this out a of a- peachy. We got it out of a private collection though, that uh, somebody who specialized oh, in rhodochrosite, and they did only 18 and 22 karat gold. So all the material that they had, the rough material, was actually slated that was Ooh, the quality I like that with the turquoise necklace. to, to go so into cake. yeah to go into uh, 22 karat gold designs, 18 karat gold designs. So um, when we got this, we just felt so privileged that we uh, could have it. Uh, we made what we could made. We brought this necklace one time before. We blew it out, literally blew it out. So many people didn't get in on it that um, we took the remaining material that we had that was smaller material and we made the balance of what we could in this particular design. And Fabulous the, price, great look. Just totally an amazing, amazing deal. And that's the Andean Peak Turquoise that we're looking at there? Is uh, that the accent stone with the rhodochrosite? Right, this is... Um, or the uh, Angel Peak? Angel Peak, yeah. Mm -hmm. Angel Peak Turquoise. So if you did so pick it up come, that other The turquoise necklace. comes from Chile and mm -hmm. the rhodochrosite uh, comes from Argentina. So this was that combination that Kate was wearing. This was our showstopper here, that beautiful angel pink turquoise. You can see that same color, uh, very prevalent here in the rhodochrosite. But look at the size of these rondelles. Aren't these beautiful? Look at how many different polished beads you need to have them beautifully mashed, beautifully sorted, the way that it graduates in size all the way up the back of the neckline. I love that Jay does that. So you get the biggest stones where you want them up front. That's where you get the weight. That's where you get the presence. And then it is even more comfortable when the beads slightly taper in size all the way around the back. But also he never leaves you hanging. He never leaves the back of the necklace empty because he knows so many of you have short hair. If you've got a little hair updo going uh, you get to show off that beautiful length. It does have the adjustable closure. We've got one more item we've got to get to. Final day of the J. King Mine Finds visit. This is another darling find in turquoise. This is the 18-inch length. Uh, not one, not two, but three strands of a green and blue turquoise. I believe it's Iron Mountain. And would it be the Campitos turquoise? Yeah, Campitos and Iron Mountain. The Iron Mountain are the small hishi beads, and then the Campitos are the high clear, um, high clear blue, Robin's mm. egg blue uh, mm -hmm. beads in this. I just thought uh, the contrast on this. Very cool. Uh, color contrast is amazing. You can see the, uh, the Iron Mountain, uh, beautiful uh, gold matrix. Uh, and then this is one of the few times that we've cut this rough into a uh, hishi type look. And then the Campitos, just almost like, glows in the dark, right? The clarity, mm -hmm. the, but we went with this for the color contrast. Love I designed it for the contrasting oh, colors on this that it? you can get up and uh, so you've got two individually mm -hmm. unique different turquoises on two different continents, right? right. So the Campitos <laughs> comes from Mexico. So Who it, doesn't think that Jake okay. doesn't go to the end uh, of the or, earth? Yeah, for that's you. true. So, but and they, back again. But think about the the craziness of these. The, in one design, you've got two different kinds of turquoises from two individual different continents, mm -hmm. not countries.
continents, okay, and countries too. So the Campitos uh, Blue Ice, and here again, this is some of the highest grade material ever oh, to come out of that mine. That real high, clear robin's egg blue color um, that comes out of Mexico. And then That's Iron good. Mountain is a deposit in um, north central China, uh, which is a huge, the reason it's called Iron Mountain, it's a huge iron deposit, a commercial iron mine. Sure. Um, and Love that look. Uh, that's where we're, we're, we're the only people I know uh, that they allow in there. And we're only, we only get in two to four times a year when they're shut down for maintenance in that section. The turquoise is literally popping out. Just there, it's all over the place. A real um, opportunity buy simple for to you mine, today too. But, but uh, very, very rare. And 50% off. I don't get to say that very yeah, often, but we've pretty, had... I mean, crazy deal. Very, crazy, crazy. We, we've actually had quite a big selection today at clearance prices. So if you're just tuning in, you're like, wait, I didn't know Jay King was on today. Look at our show. We've had uh, some incredible finds, a lot of clearance pricing. That rhodochrosite necklace we just offered, that was 50% off. That was the lowest price ever. This multicolored turquoise bead necklace, also at the lowest price we've ever offered. Uh, it's something that's handcrafted. It's hand-selected gemstones, they're hand-cut, they're hand-polished. What I also love is this is that layered look that Jay King and his design team did for you. It's all anchored in the back with the solid sterling silver clasp. It has that beautiful fish hook clasp, and then you have that uh, three-inch extender. So you have it tapering all the way around the back, and then you have that beautiful turquoise that accents those multi-strand designs. So it fills the neckline. It's a phenomenal buy. Uh, this was just such a thrill to get a, a tour of the world of gemstones with yep. Jay King. So, We've got just one more show yeah, later Con today. Connie and I are gonna wrap okay. it up for the event All right, at we'll see you later this afternoon. And we and hopefully will get that emerald necklace for you. Okay. Okay, we will. Thanks, Jay King. More with Chorus coming up next.